What is up? Zero game. My name is Cassius in the vlogs, and today we're gonna talk about uh, what happened yesterday. So I didn't know this was a real uh, holiday or whatever you want to call it, but there was something called National Women's Day. And um, I didn't know it was real until I was working out. I was in the gym. And I see on the TV monitors that it's National Women's Day. I'm just like, what? You know, I'm thinking that it's fake or, you know, there's something on Twitter or whatever. But, you know, people make up holidays that they want to. But I realized there isn't a National Men's Day or anything that supports like alpha males or anyone with confidence, right? That the holidays all have, always have to be for these betas and these weak individuals. Um, and if that insults you, obviously you're that and you need to change something about your life. Now, moving on, I was thinking to myself, like, why are women being, you know, glorified? Like, what, what have they, what have they done that glorifies them, right? I'm really over here thinking, like, what are the most successful women, especially like on social media, well, the whores, um, they're, they're, they're whores. <laughs> That's, that's what they are, I mean. I'm not even trying to be mean about it, I'm just being wondering about it. They're whores. And I'm thinking to myself, like, Lenity, Pokimane, um, Trisha, whether it's Trisha Pantier or something like that. Not Pantier, I think of someone else, but the, the YouTuber, that big YouTuber that looks like a fish. Um, you know, all these women, Kim Kardashian, all these women that are really, really successful. Um, the majority, the majority. And I'm not talking about singers. Uh, I mean, there's some sexual singers, but I'm talking about other people that like their brand is themselves. They're all like whores. Jake Paul's wife or ex-wife or call it a whore. Um, there's so many different ways for women to make money and it's so easy for women to make money these days. Maybe back then it was a little more difficult, but I feel like nowadays and this holiday has been created recently. It's so incredibly easy for women to make money these days. They have three holes to make money from. Men can't you know, a man can work out and he can look buff or whatever, but it's only gonna get him, you know, a little something, right? It's not really gonna do much. Guy can look good. It doesn't really do him any good. You know, a woman can go on Twitch TV, right? Put her stinking feet up and guys will join just for the foot fetish. You know, like I like some nice looking feet, but I'm not about to watch a woman just because she has feet out, right? Like just go get a chick with some nice feet, right? But the culture are these simp men that glorify these women and give them big egos for being, well, nobody's and very boring. A woman actually was able to have 2,000 or 1,000 viewers on Twitch just sleeping. And then she decides to stream herself taking a nap and is pulling 5,000 viewers, but... A man can't do that. A man has to have talent. A man has to have, you know, something interesting about him. He has to sell himself and have an actual, you know, entertainment hook or something like that. Women don't. They, in fact, can just be pretty and exist, and people will give them money. Uh, Bad Bunny is a good example. Chat, I haven't got a donation or a sub for an hour. Five dollars a month. She just exists, and people give her money, and she she looks like a Dallas Southern Tiger. I don't know how she's attractive, right? She talks about all these wild, radical left stuff. And people that don't even agree with her just be like, oh, she's pretty, so I agree with her. Like, dude, you're not gonna have sex with this chick, right? But I'm not really gonna try to bash them in. I'm gonna try to bash them as little as possible because I feel like they're, they're just as responsible for the stupidity behind like this National Woman's Holiday BS because the simp men are supporting their women in hopes that they will get laid and it's just not gonna happen. Women don't want beta men. They want beta men to get money, but they're not gonna date a beta man. Like, all the women, they'd be like, oh, I don't, you know, man confidence is bad, or this is bad about actual real man. Those women are seeking those guys' relationships. Like, look at Pokimane, right? She has all these sim dudes, and, but she would, she had a scandal with some guy. He wasn't really too much of a beta man. I mean, he, you know, he was kind of a wimp in comparison to what I'm used to. But the point is, it wasn't as bad as what she's used to. You know, she's used to those guys giving her money, and, saying you're pretty and stuff like that. And Pokimane has some very ugly feet, I might add. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> That's just, I just, just let that out there. I was really thinking about it because I know that she sits up there with her feet out just eating, like how is entertaining, talking about nothing. One of her streams were watching a movie. 
I'm going to break down a couple of things. I don't want to ramble too long. This is one of the rants that you guys get every so often. One, Twitch. Any girl can make it on Twitch. All you have to do is have your titties out, be pretty, or have your feet up there. Or eat for some reason. Guys like eating or ASMR. I don't know what. Simp. Chaff man likes ASMR or whatever it's called. But you're a simp and you're a chaff. You, you need to be weeded out. Um, what other thing? What other thing? Uh, OnlyFans, right? Women can do OnlyFans. No one wants to see disgusted man feet. That's not gonna work. No one wants to see a man in a bathing suit. No one cares. I don't, nobody wants to see it. Women don't want to see it, all right? No one wants to see men look like that. Like, I think for women, it's more so in person, like, like guy's hot or whatever, right? But online, like, they don't care because they're being bombarded by so many dudes that's trying to get with them that they don't care. They could, you know, pretty much choose who they want to be with. You get what I'm saying? Or they pretty much choose which guy to reply to. Um, so yeah, Twitch, OnlyFans. What else do we have here, guys? YouTube is really easy for a female to make a YouTube. She's really sexual, right? Um, women can pretty much do whatever they want. Uh, and it's, you know, for job-wise, right? And I know that people say, oh, women don't get paid as much as guys, but that doesn't exist. It hasn't existed for a very long time, all right? It was it exist at one point, sure, but it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, women get paid as much as guys. There is no real difference. In fact, women have a higher chance of getting paid more because they can flip, flip the boss's ding dong and get a raise and get and get benefits. In fact, when I was working at, I think it was Amazon, a chick was, I think was, you know, she was slurping it up on the guy. She just kept getting raises and raises and doing nothing. And you know, I put complaints. Other people could compl put uh, complaints. I'm not like Joe Biden now with my speech. Private, uh, private. Uh... I put complaints, and other people put complaints, and. He just wouldn't do anything about it, right? But if you do something, or if I do something wrong, then we got in trouble. It's because she was slurping up the boss. I'm not saying that's like a bad thing, right? Like everyone has the way to survive, and I totally understand that. But to glorify it, like women have such a hard time, they, they don't. They just simply don't. I've seen multiple women with bad resumes get hired just because they're attractive, right? You see women get glorified just because they're attractive with no actual skill set. Men can't do this. A fat chick can get laid. A fat chick can run an OnlyFans. A fat chick can be successful on Twitch. Men can't do that. They have to have some type of interesting hook about them. And I know you guys are thinking probably about Boogie. Sure, Boogie, I know he's fat, so like that, but it was more of like a, oh, poor me, I can't help myself. Somebody care about me. That's what Boogie was about. So it really wasn't about like attractiveness. No one's attracted to Boogie, all right? No one's attracted to that dude. Um, there's a bunch of other people like Old Vicky, right? Old Vicky, I know she got famous for, famous for, uh, you know, saying she's black or whatever, but there was a lot of people that's attracted to her. If you go in her comment section, so many simp, incel, beta, cuck, chaff men all in the comments. Oh my God, you're so hot, you're so sexy. Oh my God, your feet are so nice. Like I said, I think there's a lot of men that like feet, and that's totally fine. But to give a woman money just because she has nice feet or any nice thing that that's about her is really stupid. Now, if you want to donate to your favorite streamer, or support your favorite streamer, that's totally fine. But to specifically support someone just because they're attractive is literally stupid. Like it's the dumbest of the dumb. And I see all these women talking about how hard they have it. I'm just like, don't you have a OnlyFans? I've seen this chick, this workout chick. I'm not gonna say her name, but she's a workout chick that, uh, you know, she has really good workouts and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, I respect her hustle and stuff like that, but it's like, she has OnlyFans and bikinis, and there's people actually paying for this more than her other stuff. Her business wouldn't be successful if it wasn't for her OnlyFans. If I would about OnlyFans, right? I mean, uh, not bikinis, but the Speedos and all that stuff, no one's really going to care. Maybe I'll get, like, three gay dudes or something like that, but no one's going to care. People care about women, even in porn, the porn industry, right? No one cares about the dude. He's just a ding dong, right? He's not even like. It's not even like the dude is so, like, uncared for to a point. The dude is like so minuscule in the porn that it's just like the guy that's watching the porn imagines himself smashing the chick. Like the dude doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying? The women get paid more than the men in porn. Uh, you have to have very specific attributes when you're a dude in porn. And then if you're a dude that's kind of making a porn hub or something like that, no one's gonna watch your stuff. Maybe a couple of gay dudes might watch your stuff. You're actually be more successful as a trans woman than just being a normal man on platforms. Like, it's to that degree. So I don't really understand why this is National Women's Day and Women Empowerment. Uh, why about men empowerment? Like, 
Are you guys not understanding what's going on? The highest paid streamers are females. The highest paid people on YouTube are females. Well, I know one of them is a kid, but you guys get what I'm saying. I know this, Twitch is, you know, dominated by females for sure. Uh, YouTube, I know it changes a lot, but at one point it was dominated by females as well. And it's just crazy to me that people are like, oh man, got it so easy. We, we don't. We have to look good. You can't be a punk. And if you are a punk, then, you know, they're going to be like, oh, it's okay to cry. But when a woman sees you cry, right? When a woman sees you cry, it, it, she don't want you. But she, she's like, oh, it's totally normal to cry. It's totally normal to show all these feminine attributes. But when you do, nobody wants you. Nobody wants to support you. You, get, you, guys, you guys really get what I'm saying here? It's, um, you know, I'm not saying to be an alpha male is being a jerk or whatever, but guys have it way harder. Some of my favorite uh, streamers, and I only have like two, I don't want to say their names either, but some of my favorite streamers, uh, they do all this stuff to get views. You have a bunch of females. Like, if you go on Twitch, just chatting is full of females. Just chatting is full of females doing nothing. Nothing. Look at uh, Belle, what's her name? Belle Dauphine or Belle Dolphin or Dolphin or whatever her name is. Does nothing. Very crap content. A relative of mine is like one of the biggest cucks ever. One of the biggest simps ever. One of the, I'm not gonna say any names, one of the biggest like chaff ever. And they watch a bunch of stream girls like Belle Dolphine, support Pokemon. It's fun to watch them. I'm not saying guys just can't watch stream girls. I, I'm not gonna watch it, but I'm not saying guys can't watch like stream girls, they have actual good content, but to watch a girl comb her hair, talk about what she did for the day, a man can't do that. A man can't do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Men can't just put out crap content and get views. It doesn't work. Even if a dude tries to have some type of like edgy content, he's not gonna get away with it. Look at, uh, what's her name, the vegan teacher? People watch her because she's a chick and she's not a very attractive chick, but the fact is that she has three holes and men are thinking about that at all times. So they're like, you know what, the scent men, I'm talking, I'm talking about alphas, the scent men, the betas, like, oh man, but it's a chick though, bro. You can't talk that way to a chick. Chicks are so protected in America that if you start a fuss with a chick, even scent men will come to the chick's side. I remember I had this whole fiasco with Cardi B and, uh, you know, she's the one who made the song, what, wet, a, you know what. And that song was displayed everywhere for kids to see it. It was, you know, running ads on YouTube, right? But then you have like Dr. Seuss, something a man made, you know, uh, Mr. Potato Head, all this stuff being attacked for like, oh, gender, uh, what, what else? I'm not gonna edit none of this, by the way. You know, it's being attacked for like gender, it's being attacked for you know, being inappropriate, all this other stuff while chicks can just pop stinky, smelly, fishy coochie everywhere and men are gonna eat it up. My point is with this long rant, I don't want this rant to go over like 15 minutes, but my point is with this long rant is that I don't understand why like there's a National Women's Day where women have it the easiest over any other species on the planet. Like, come on, dude, they're, they're backed up by so much things. If you're in a divorce, the woman gets all your stuff. The guy has to be child support, right? And the thing is, it's so messed up about the whole child support thing is that a woman chooses to keep the kid or not, right? A guy has no say. But whatever the woman's choice is, the man has to deal with it. And if he doesn't, like, let's say he doesn't want the kid, right? She doesn't want the kid. He's dead, be dead. But she chose to keep the kid. Oh, well, his responsibility too. Okay, he wants the kid. She doesn't want the kid. She gets an abortion. What did he do then? It's, it's so double standards when it comes to women. Um, a woman can talk a bunch of crap about a dude. Oh, he has to be this tall. Well, how much do you weigh? Oh, that's bad. What type of job do you have? Oh, what type of job do you have? That's bad. You don't ask a woman her age. How old are you? Can't ask my age. Don't ask me that. There's so many double standards that people just aren't seeing. I have so much to cover in this video, but I, I don't want the rant to be too long. I don't want to bore you guys. But I just really wanted to um, put this video out there because I'm so confused by why is there a National Women's Day where women have the power over everything practically. The government backs them up. They get a bunch of free stuff. They, it's glorified to be a whore now. Women can act like men now. Oh, well, are you cheating on a woman? That's a bad guy. If uh, um, you know, a woman cheats on a dude, 
Oh, he's such a beta, he's a cuck, oh, he got cucked out, ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, he's such a chaff dude, ah, uh, you know, wise up, get your game better. That's what goes on, and I'm just like, what? Like, what, what's going on here? Anyway, I just gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm ranting way too long. I don't wanna go over the 15 minute mark for like 15 seconds, uh, seconds, 15 minutes. So with that being said, if you guys like what I'm talking about, if you guys want me to make more content like this, please let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and comment. I'm really forgetting to tell you guys to subscribe and comment because I'm really wanna get my point across when I make these videos. A lot of people aren't really understanding, you know, my, my content's for more intelligent individuals and I understand that, but I want it to be, uh, you know, simplistic enough to make the casuals kind of pick up on what I'm talking about. Because I don't want to like, just, you know, make people feel bad about themselves. I'm really trying to bring awareness to what's really going on. But that being said, uh, like I said, it's a wrap up this video. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember, I'm not Eric. I'm just confident. And thanks for watching. Just, just